Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, back with another DIY Wednesday. I have for you some Easter crafts and some rustic farmhouse decor. Um, before I begin, um, I'm just going to show you what I made after the video last week with the raffia. I made a bow in the uh, with the raffia stuff and just wrap the middle in twine and this is the second uh ivy reef that i made and but i didn't show this on on cam because it was like a a, a test just to see how the raffia made a bow and it actually came out really pretty and i've got this hanging on my kitchen cupboard only problem is i have three kitchen cupboards but only had one of these left so yeah this is the only one i've got but yeah i just thought i'd show you the raffia bow because it is just really pretty so on to this week's be video playing with these pots because i've got a few of these now these are the poundland uh lovely gorgeous uh artificial plants and i have one of the um ones from the old hall that i did um this one doesn't have anywhere to live so i thought i'll decorate this pot as well and I have for you, let's, let's pan over here, um, I've got some green sparkly card. Now I was going to use this ring, but um, I want to use this for something else. And not only that, these are polystyrene and they don't really stick to the wood. So I'm going to use this as a template to cut out a circle from the card. And then I'm going to decorate just a little... A uh, colourful reef, mainly for the kids. And I've got some little buttons here as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet, but yeah. Oh, and some and some pearls. And obviously we've got this ribbon again. And I don't know why I've got this out. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing with that yet. But yeah, let's get onto the video. And uh, yeah, you know what to do, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So let's get into the video. So I've just opened the uh, curtain because it was a little bit dark. So yeah, let's start with this um, cute DIY over here. And I'm just gonna trace the circle. I wonder if I can get two out of this. Let's have a look. Because then it might be a little bit sturdier if I do two. Let me just see. Am I doing inside or outside? Let's do outside. Oh, no. It's cutting it close, so I'm going to go right to the edge. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to speed this bit up for you. So you don't have to, uh, yeah, sit here and watch all this. Okay, so I've just cut out the um, circles. I'm now gonna cut out the in inner circle on them. Uh, I'm gonna use this lid. I'm not sure. The eggs I'm gonna put sort of like this way. So I want it to be a little bit thinner, but I mean, I can probably sort that after. I'm just gonna draw around this. Okay, it's actually <laughs> moving as I do it. So as you can see, there's a lot of circles in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut this out. Easiest way to do this, guys, is to put a slight hole in it first without bending and just cut four, um, four snips. Four snips, four lines, just like so. And then you can bend them back and cut them off easier. It just makes it a little bit easier. See, this is the sort of width I want from the edge. So this one I'll cut a little bit further up to make it a bit smaller. I want it, to, oh God, I can't even get in there. I want it to be even. That's, that's, that's what I want. I just want it to be even. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
and I'll come back to you when all the middle is gone. Okay guys, there you have it. I've cut out both circles. I'm now going to glue them together. I am going to use hot glue, which is out of shot. You can see the shadow over there um, because I haven't got the extension lead in today. So I'm going to glue these and um, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've done that. It's a little bit more sturdy now. Obviously, you can still see a lot of the uh, card from the other side because I've cut it basically back to back um, so it's not symmetrical once you've turned it over so I'm just going to go ahead and fix that it's not going to matter too much because I'm what I'm planning on doing um, it should make it a little bit more cleaner more tidy this is the thicker edge so I might use that for the top but anyway now I'm going to go, I've made a pattern with the eggs, um, I'm now going to go and glue those on. Uh, I might try and get this in shot actually. And then yeah, they'll go sort of like this all the way around, or should I put them outwards like this? If I put them outwards, it fills up more of the, uh... hmm, yeah, I think I'll do them like that. I think that look really cute. Okay, let's do that. the last one in and it's just going to slot nicely in there and do you know what this is actually looking really cute I wasn't expecting to look this cute so I'm happy with that and obviously now it's got a bunch of glue on there with the eggs it's a little bit more sturdy you could actually use this for a candle holder like if you was to put the candle in there and put it on the table I think it would look quite cute um so yeah what I'm gonna do now is put a hanger on there with some twine uh yeah I was gonna use the buttons in the gaps but there is really no need because it's kind of cute on its own um I could go in and put extra eggs on top but I don't want to mess it up there you have it a really cute little reef I mean I don't know where it's gonna go but I think it looks so cute and I love it um don't know whether to add a bow or not I, mm, mm, what do you think guys should I add a bow obviously it's gonna be too late by the time I ask you guys maybe I'll add a little raffia bow a uh, raffia bow a twine bow let's let's have a look I should have got some ribbon from the uh, other room. There we have it, a nice little raffia bow to go on top, open it out a bit more, I think that looks better than what I was going to do anyway, so now do I put it up the top here or do I just place it on top of the eggs, on top of the eggs, unless I have it down here, 
could have it at the bottom. I always have them at the top to hide the the tie, but I could have it at the bottom. Hmm. And there you have it. That is the egg reef, the polystyrene egg reef. That's taken way longer than I wanted it to, but I think it's really cute. And now I might actually add a button to the middle. What colour? I think the yellow reminds me of Easter more than anything. So I'm going to add a yellow one. There we go. Now it's done. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm going to hang that up and I'll show you at the end of this video. Let's get on with the next DIY. Hey guys, on to the next one. I don't really have uh, much to explain on these. All I'm going to do is glue the twine to the top and just do it to here. And with the ribbon one, I'm just going to cut a piece off and do the ribbon in the middle. Just because I feel that the ribbon's a bit big to go at the top. So yeah, the ribbon will go in the middle and the twine will go on the top. But only on, like, I'm going to do two twine ones and two ribbon ones and see how it looks at the end. So guys, I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around up until here because uh, it's pretty boring to sit and watch. Um, but yeah, I'm going to come back to you when I finish this one and we'll get on to the next one. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I finished the first one. Um, yeah, it's quite cute. I like it. I like it. So yeah, I'm going to get on with the other two. Um, I think this plasticky pot I might do with the ribbon. So let me just, actually that might work, oh, ah, that might work up here. So yeah, this is the pot from the, um, that weird pound land. I think it's called Mighty Pound. Um, you might have one of those in your town centre, I'm not sure. But yeah, this one I might actually do at the top. Because like I said, it's flatter at the top compared to these two, these ones, as you can see. So yeah, um, let me cut this to length. And then we'll glue this one. Get out the way. Um, obviously, because the pots are slanted slightly, the measurement is usually off if you do it in straight lines. So you'd have to do it at an angle. Where's my scissors gone? Trust me not to find out oh, that they are. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to cut this at an angle. not even guys Shh. we don't we don't need to worry about that okay so there you have it that is this really cute plant pot done let's just try and separate this and make it a bit bigger there we go that looks pretty um so yeah that's that one um should i add stuff i keep doing this to myself no i'm not going to add anything so there you have them two let me just try and show you okay so yeah You've got the one with the uh, the twine around the top and then the ribbon around the top. So the next one I'm going to do the ribbon around the middle and then another one with the twine at the top because I love the look of that. It looks like a rustic pot. So yeah, I'm going to try that again. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when I've finished and I'll show you what everything looks like all together as well. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec.
Okay guys, this is the finished look. I've put it in my little plant tray that I got from Tiger. And um, yeah, they're looking really good. I wrapped one of the uh, large eggs in some twine. It's a little bit messy. There's probably a really um, much nicer way to do this, probably with just like PVA glue. Um, but I've only got my glue gun on hand at the moment. But yeah, I, I love that. I love that. So yeah, I'm going to put this out on the table once I've done my Easter uh, table. And um, that will be when this goes out. But for now, I love it. It's looking really cute. And this is what the, the one in the middle looks like. That's the back, sorry. And it will go like that. That one's at the top. And that's also the back of the <laughs> of the plant pot but yeah you get an idea and yeah I'm going to show you the reef now too as you can see you've got the green sparkly paper that looks just like grass uh, the little bow that I did with the twine and the little button and yeah it's looking really cute and a little twine handle handle hook but yeah that's what it looks like Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Take care, have fun, stay blessed, stay smiling, happy YouTubing. Bye guys! <laughs>